I know it's not in the movie, but I have listened to I'll Make a Man Out of You probably more than any other Disney song. It is on repeat. I think I have a playlist of just that song. It's so good. One of the top Disney songs of all time. My statement has been made. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking the brand new movie dropping on Disney Plus. Tomorrow, if you pay for it, it's Mulan. I need you in the comments down below. How did you feel about this film if you have seen it? And are you looking forward to it, anticipating it? Let's talk about it. So, a young Chinese maiden disguises herself as a male warrior in order to save her father. You all know the story. Directed by Nikki Caro, starring Liu Yifei as Mulan, Donnie Yen, so many spectacular actors making appearances in this film. And it's a movie that uh, had me excited, but also nervous. The Disney live action adaptations, let's start there. They have been, for the most part, up and down. I love a movie like Jungle Book. Some of these other films, I don't feel the same way about. Right? So you never really know what you're going to get with a movie like Mulan. Uh, and I'll start here. One of the great things that this movie is able to do is the fact that it not only brings us those new elements, but it maintains the story that we know and love and strikes a really good balance of nostalgia, which is something that I mentioned earlier, and some plot points that, at first, you're hesitant. This film heavily revolves around Chi, uh, which is not something that was as prevalent in the original, but it makes a lot of sense where they go in this story, and if you look at it from a live-action standpoint, okay, they're able to do some of the things that they do in this film because of the explanations that we get at the beginning of the movie. So even though it's not something from the original, they were able to add that in, and make a difference at the end of the day. And I appreciate that. I respect that. I like the fact that our director here, uh, she's able to make these changes, but not, uh, for the most part, I think, uh, take people completely off board with those changes made, which is a negative we've seen for some of these other movies. Uh, we've also seen some of the films that stick so closely to the original and don't do anything different, uh, they become a bit stale, a bit boring. And Mulan is maybe not the first that I've seen in Disney live action, uh, but one of the few that have been able to strike a really good balance. Does that mean it's a good movie? I actually think this is, at the end of the day, a good film, even though I do have my fair share of problems that I'll get into. I do want to start with the cast, though. Our main actress, she really captures the spirit of Mulan. I thought she did a good job. Donnie Yen, uh, one of my favorites to see him in action, as is the case in every movie that he's in. He's fantastic. Lee Gong is great. Jet Li, as always, is really good. Even though he doesn't have a ton to do, he's still solid. Even down to the actors who played Yao and Ling, uh, Chin Tang, and Jimmy Wong. You guys remember Freddie Wong on YouTube? I believe this is his younger brother, Jimmy, uh, who was actually in video game high school. He's in this film as Ling, and I think the actors did a really good job, and they, they captured the spirit of the characters that they were portraying, even though some of the characters are changed up to a point that I think it will throw some people off. I was watching this movie with my wife, and the fact that she's seen Mulan so many times allowed her to uh, bring up the changes that they were making, and while they were definitely there, they didn't bother her. She still got chills throughout the film, even though she did share some of the concerns that I shared. I also want to talk about the action really quick, because it is uh, spectacular. I mean, Spectre, this is the Disney war epic that we never knew we needed. The scale of some of these battles, awesome. I love the fight choreography. Uh, you see in one of the trailers, there's this interesting thing that they do with the camera where they twist it, I believe, to the right. They kind of rotate it back to the left, and they do that multiple times throughout the film. Now, uh, one could see that and say, well, that's, that's overused at this point after three times of doing it, but... I found it semi-refreshing every time it happened. That's obviously a, a visual cue, a decision that uh, will not work for everyone, but I just found the cinematography, the look to the movie, to be excellent, and the fact that um, a lot of this is done on location. You can tell when it's CGI for sure, but after a movie like Lion King where everything is CGI, it's kind of refreshing, and it looked great, by the way, it's kind of refreshing to get um, something that feels maybe a bit more real, Granted, we're utilizing humans here, so it's easier, um, but it is utilizing 
gorgeous locations, beautiful landscapes, and the culture of this entire film. I can't uh, speak to the fact that it's on point because I don't know, uh, but from what I saw, it was captured incredibly, and you add that to the cast, you have a really solid experience at the end of the day. Now, before my main criticisms, I do want to say this. This film is not only based on the original animated movie, there's also a 1939 film uh, that it's drawing a lot from, and that is probably where we start to see those separations from the animated movie. Obviously, we don't have a Mushu, we don't have uh, plenty of characters that pop up there, no music, so they're going for a darker and more intense tone. There is a lot of violence in this movie, PG-13, of course, but I'm surprised with how much they're able to get away with. You just add some blood in there, and this would be a hard R for sure. Now, my main criticism is essentially the fact that the movie feels rushed for me. We kind of montage our way through so many moments, and we do that in the original film, right? But that's when the music comes in, and it takes us on that journey. Uh, I also felt that this film didn't quite nail those extremely emotional moments. Now, I got chills multiple times, I won't lie to you, and the end is extremely emotional, uh, but there are a handful of moments that work so well in the animated movie where they allow us to sit back and soak everything in, but instead of allowing us to soak things in in this film, they just kind of move on to the next scene so quick, it doesn't give us the opportunity to digest. The pace is fast. I believe it was too fast for the story that they were telling. They go from scene to scene without any transition, and I'm not talking crossfade, I'm just talking tonally. It's extremely hilarious, and the next scene is a dire and drastic moment, and there's no in-between within this movie. There are also moments when our character is running to a location or in a completely different location, and the next shot, not the next scene, they're faced a different way or already there with a bow and arrow ready to shoot, and I'm just thinking to myself, why is everything moving at this pace? Why is there no in-between with Mulan? Uh, so one could say the movie feels maybe a bit choppy? in that regard, but I don't want to say it made me look down on the movie because, again, I still enjoyed myself. I just wish the film felt a bit more cohesive, so I think my biggest issue with the movie is actually the editing. For example, and this isn't a spoiler, if you guys have seen the animated film, uh, they're singing You'll Bring Honor to Us All, and then all of a sudden, we see the devastation of the battle and we have time to soak it in, right? Well, we get a very similar moment in this movie, but instead of the camera kind of rearing back and seeing the emotion on their faces, they see the devastation and immediately cut to the next scene. So. That's what I was missing with Mulan. Had nothing to do with the actors or the battle scenes or just the look, the aesthetic of the movie. It comes down to just the fact that I think it was kind of choppy when it comes to the editing. And because of that, I think that lessens the emotional impact for scenes that were very well constructed. So regardless, I need you in the comments down below. How did you feel about Mulan? Are you looking forward to it if you haven't seen it yet? Uh, as for my score, I'm going a solid 7 out of 10, a 70% for Mulan, a good Disney remake, a couple of things within there that kept it from being great. I still had a good time. Uh, we both enjoyed ourselves. And uh, again, my wife, she kind of shared the issues that I had. So I want to know, what are you watching this weekend? Have you checked out all my other reviews? We talked Tenet and New Mutants and The Boys and so many reviews. Appreciate you for watching. I'm going to go sleep.